Hello, I am Kiatrik. I am a trainer for making games with Construct 2. I am a moderator on Skara.com forums. I'm an indie game maker and game designer enthusiast. I'm making this video tutorial today for Enver to Game Dave Touch Plus. I will start with the bullets of the player hitting the enemy. And so I will want to add a new object particles. And I will want to use the same kind of green. Put it to eight by eight. Resize by eight by eight. Oops. Paint it green and name it um, play um, player bullet particle. I will want it to be fifteen. Is okay. Spray cone. I want. 360 and I want it to be only a one shot. You can then the mo modify here. I will change it to 6. Opacity is ok. Acceleration. I guess it's fine. It fades to invisible in one single. We'll modify this to 75. It should be ok. So just to test it. Execute and poof. Here we have. Ok so what will happen is when a bullet is in collision, is overlapping with an enemy, what I will want to do first is to obviously destroy the bullet, create... So yeah, I'm destroying the bullet right now, but actually the bullet won't be destroyed before the next event. So I can still use reference to the bullet even in Discord or in sub events I'm using there. So you will see. Um, destroying, I want to I'm subtracting HP from HP and I will subtract bullet dot animation frame plus one. This will allow me to know what kind of damage is I'm doing to the enemy. I will also want to create an object particle. My object particle I just did. On the layer, action. I've got to put the quotes and uh, put it at the bullet.x and bullet.y. At the moment it's working because I'm picking only the bullet that is overlapping with a, an enemy at this very time, at this very moment. Let's try and now we should have some interaction. The enemy is not going down because I haven't yet checked for that. Okay, 25 and 4. So, okay, it should be okay now. Uh, okay, and I will put it out of the layout so it's not exploding in the middle of the screen right at the start. Let's comment a bit. So here we handle the spawning of enemy waves. There we will handle enemy shooting and there we will handle the bullet collision and finally I will add one more that is enemy death and to check for enemy death I will see and compare the H HP instance variable less or equal to zero and when it happens what I want is obviously to destroy the enemy so destroy the enemy and create another kind of particle so I will add a new object particle resize it to 4x4 four four and put it in 
white and it will be actually and it will be pretty much in the same content 360 one shot size of 4 and I will name it the particle and so I will create this dead particle in the layer action at enemy.x and enemy.y here it is that's pretty much what I need for now and so testing we should be able to see the enemy disappear when it has been shot enough nice what I will also want to do is for the enemies at some point to be able to spawn the pickups on death so I will add a new instance variable to my player I will name it loot and actually when the enemy is dead I will add an action player add to loot and I will add there um enemy type plus one uh, type plus one plus dt for multiplied by two so this way I will add some value to an instance variable and when this variable will have reached a certain amount I will drop I will I will sp create uh, an object pickup and this will happen when an enemy is destroyed so on enemy only destroyed and I will add another condition so that the player instant variable loot is greater or equal to one and at that moment I will set the value of loot to zero to start again and I will create I will create an object pickup in the layout action at enemy.x and enemy.y and finally modify the angle of motion to 180 that's the moment to do so that should be it I will probably haven't enough oh yeah it did in fact and so now as you can see my pickups are working as intended yeah it worked because the enemy type Oh no. Well, I guess DT multiplied by 2 was maybe a bit too much. Just add DT. OE. Oh no, it's. I know what, what went wrong. Multiplied by DT by 2. This should allow to. a bit more enemies unnecessary for pickup but once again it's values you can tweak and formulas you can tweak and modify and test and experiment with and have fun and toy with and just see what formula has what effect on the on the game's logic and if you think at some point that uh, there should be more pickups to be spawned just modify this formula or if it's too much modify it too 
and find the correct mass formula that uh, suits well in your opinion. Just comment there. And it's dropping some pickup. And the pickup is where I will also modify this and put it there. I'm kind of grouping stuff there. And on the enemy is dead, I will add a new event and check for the position of the enemy in the same way I did for the for the ship for the player. Scroll X minus window width divided by two minus enemy dot width forgot minus and add a enemy destroy just to prevent that once you are up there in the layout your enemy has gone past you on the left but it is still in the layout so it's not exactly what we want so this way I'm making sure that once the enemy has gone out of the screen on the left it will be destroyed and it won't be a problem anymore in memory now what you can do is just have some fun number of enemy 3 fire rate modify the HP to I don't know 5 it will take less shots to disappear and a fire rate of 2.5 and just place it wherever it feels okay number of enemy is 10 but of enemy type 0 I will put them in 48 angle aim will be I don't know let's say it's a 0 so 0 fire rate is 0 and HP will be 3 but at the same time I will be able to spawn type enemy 2 in 64 but I will only spawn 4 of them angle aim will be let's say they will shoot to down they will shoot down so let's go for 145 fire rate of 3 and HP or HP of 10 for example I'm pretty much doing I'm, ju I'm just going you know straight guessing right there and testing it you have now several waves and our scrolling is working so it's 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 going pretty well I haven't yet got uh, a pickup <laughs> but as you can see it's only five elements that spawns multiple enemies in the bullet collisions I also wanted to be able to shoot on the bullets on the enemy bullets you know so I've copied the event, I will destroy the bullets and actually simply also destroy the enemy bullets and also shooting the bullets gives more loot to the player 0 0.1 for any bullets destroyed Here it is, pick up, and now it makes it quite easier to destroy enemies because my bullets, the bullets I am shooting, are far more powerful. Here it is, so now we'll just go and we will set some score and make some new levels and end and, and all the end of this level once it's down. See you in the next video.